what we've done here is we've added a brand new color palette and then applied it to Divi Crafter. Now this is now a custom design with brand new colors. I mean, our animations are still in place. You can see here when I hover, everything is in place. So this is how you want to use Divi Crafter. In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to use Divi Crafter. This is a Divi UI kit, which makes the process of designing a website very, very easy. So the first thing you want to do is to download and install it. And let me show you how easy it is. So once you've downloaded it, you're going to see a zipped folder that looks like this. So what you want to do is to double click. Okay, so now we have this .json file. This is the file that we're going to need to install. So let's head over to our site now and to install it is very, very easy. You want to come over here to DV and then click on DV library. Next, you want to click on import and export and then click on import. Now you want to click on import presets and then choose the file. Now my file is on the desktop and remember it's the .json file. You just click on it once and then click on open and then import. So all our designs are now imported into our library. We can straight away start using this. But I want to show you something very, very exciting. So let's say you want to use uh, one of these sections. So let's look for our hero section here. Let's go with this one here. Now, obviously, we can't see what they look like. So what you want to do to have a quick look, you just click here on Edit, and then click on Start Building. Now, as you can see here, we still can't see what the design looks like. So what you want to do is to click on this icon here, the Desktop View. And now this gives us an idea of what this looks like. Now, obviously, when you're designing your website, you want to add your own images. So what you can do now is to go in right away and start adding your images. So I can click here on this uh, little icon here and then start editing. So I can come down here to images, change and add my own image. So let's say I want to work with this one here, upload image. And just like that, I've added my image. Now, if you want to change the background color, you can also do the same thing. You come over here on your content, scroll all the way down to background, and then you can go in and change your color right here. So let's say you want to go with uh, maybe this color here, like that. Now, that's how easy it is to go in and make changes to these layouts. It's very, very easy. You can also apply this to the font, so you can go in and change these fonts to whatever fonts you want that match your uh, branding. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. So I'm just going to, uh, once you're done here, you can click on Save, like that, and now this has been saved with your updates. Next, let's pretend to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here and click on Add New. So my page here is going to be tests, and then I'm going to say use Divi Builder, build from scratch. Now, if I click on add from library, this is also another way that I can import all my layouts into Divi Cloud. Now, Divi Cloud is very powerful. It's like Dropbox for, um, for your website. So now, let's say I want to add to library. I can click over here, and then I can click on choose files. So this is where I click. I look for the JSON file, which I unzipped, by the way. Click on Open. So I'm going to say Import Presets. So I'm going to say Import to my cloud, and then click on Import. Now, this can take a while because these are more than 60 sections. So once they're all uploaded, you're going to see all, the, all of them here. And you're also going to be able to see a thumbnail, which gives you an idea of what this looks like. So once you upload everything to Divi Cloud, you notice that this now has a much better interface. It gives us an idea of what our sections look like. So as you can see here, this is DK full, uh, full with Hero 002 overlay. So this is what it looks like. It makes it easier for you to go in and just uh, use that. So I can even uh, set a heart to this. And then if I can click on these little uh, items here, I can say use this section. So this is how you can use Divi Cloud with Divi Crafter. So now if I say use this section, it gets downloaded onto my website. Now, Divi Cloud makes this work pretty much on any website. All you have to do is to uh, log into your website or brand new website, and then just connect Divi Cloud and you'll have access to all these sections at any time. Now, let's talk about the next part, and this is your colors. So ideally, you want to go in and add your colors so that when you start using these uh, sections, it's very, very easy for you to apply these colors. So let's head over here to Dashboard. I'm going to say discard and exit. So I'm going to come to uh, theme options. Now, I use a tool called coolers.co. So I'm just going to copy my colors here and add them onto my color palette. So I'm going to hover over here, click on copy. And then I'm just going to go and replace these colors like that. 
move on to the next one. So this is going to be my main brand color. Again, I'm going to paste it, move on to the next one, copy it and paste it. So it's very, very easy to go in and add your colors. In fact, this needs to be one of the first things that you do when you start creating your website. So I'm just going to continue on here and add all my brand colors because, you know, it's going to take you a very long time to add your brand colors after you've already started designing your website. So you want to make sure that this is done late, I mean, very early on in the design process. Okay, so I'm going to add now my color. I normally use a dark gray for my text here, like that. And then we're also going to need a white. There we go. So now I have my brand new color palette. I'm just going to say save changes. So what we're going to do now is to, again, create a page. So I'm going to come over here to pages and then click on add new. Then I'm just going to call this page Mac, use Divi Builder, <coughs> and then we're going to build from scratch. So if you're not sure what these designs look like, because all we have are this, uh, just the names, head over to this link here is divicrafter.diviuniversity.com. Scroll down and then you're going to see all the designs here. So what I need to look for is, uh, let's say, services. So this is where I'm going to have an idea of the, uh, the name. So on the top here, I can see it's DK Services 001. So maybe that's what I want to use. I'm going to come over here, close out of that. And since this is my section, I'm going to say add from library. Now look at that. Everything has been populated now because it has been working in the background. So all these are now my sections. I can actually say my Divi Cloud and then just focus on what's in Divi Cloud. But for now, I'm going to focus on this website. So these are all the sections that I have on my site that we've just added. So let's take a look here. We say DK Services 001. So we're going to go to services. So you scroll down here. You can see everything is well labeled. I can click on services. And now everything has been highlighted. So we want 001. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. So at this point, I can go straight away and say use this section or I can say edit with Divi and then I can go ahead and start editing it before I add it to the website. So to make things easier, I'm just going to click here on use this section and now it has been added. So let's just delete this one here. All right, so now we want to start adding our colors that we used. So I'm going to click here on this section settings. So for this black ground color, notice that I have my colors here. I'm going to go with my new color now. I'm going to save that. Next, I'm going to come over now to my um, modules. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon. And let's just nap this over to the left here. I prefer it having it here on the left. Okay, so let's do the same thing. I'm going to come over here to my background. And this is my new color palette. I'm going to click on my other color here. So I can just cycle through these and see which one works better. But I think this one here is the best. So I'm going to select that. Now it's time to work on the icons. So on the white icons here, I'm just going to set it to, in fact, we don't need the background. We just need the icon color. So I'm going to set that to, let's see what that looks like. So you want to play around with your colors here to see what works best. So I'm going to go with that dark and let's do the same here. Right, so that really stands out. Okay, so you can see here I've gone in and I've made my changes to my brand colors. So if you want, you can actually go in here now and change the font itself. So let's change this to Poppins. So I'm going to search for it and select it. There we go. So to save me time, all I have to do is to right click here and then say extend blurb styles and this section and then I'm going to say extend. Great. So now you can see that all the colors here have been updated and then over here I can just go in and change the color. So I'm just going to hover over here, click on this paintbrush icon, choose my color here for my section, do the same thing here, choose my color and I'm pretty good to go. I'm going to save that. Now it's time to add a next section. So here I need a hero section. So I'm going to scroll back down here, choose my full width heroes. So I'm going to scroll down and the one I want is this one right here, 001. So let's head over back, click on this plus button, add from library. So there's two ways we can search for our content here. We can either scroll down here, click on a hero, and this is going to show all my hero sections. Now this is what it looks like locally on my computer. But if I come over here and say hero, this is what happens. If I click on filter, now you start to see all my hero sections that I added from my library. So as you can see, these are all my hero sections. And the one I want to use, uh, let's say, is this one here. I can go ahead and uh, add it. 
But we can see here this is 002 overlay, but this is in the Divi Cloud. But if you want to use what is on your local computer, you can just scroll down here to Hero, and then you want to search for 002 overlay. So let's scroll up, and here it is. I'm going to click once on it, and then say use this section. Now, of course, you don't want to use this as it is, because ideally, you want to change this to your own design. So let's go ahead and customize this. So I'm going to click and then go into my module sections or module settings. And then I'm going to go to background. OK, so over here, we're going to go and add our image. So I want to delete this one here and add my own image. And now I can go in and choose the image I want to use. So I'm going to go with that one there. Great. So ideally, you want to use the colors from your branding palette. So let's go ahead to design. So now we can go to overlay. And let's play around with our colors now. So let's start with uh, this color here. And let's add a bit of transparency. And here we go. You can see there it looks really nice. But if this is not your style and you want to use a different color, boom, just like that. And you can see now everything is starting to look much, much better because we are using a color here from our color palette. So you can play around with these and, and choose the color that uh, works great for you. Even this, even this one here works much better. So we can just add a bit more transparency here. But you see, this is way too similar to our blurbs here. So I probably won't use that. So I'll probably go with something like that. But I'd make sure you adjust the slider here because this is what's going to make things look great. OK, so with that now, I can just drag this to the top like that. All right, great. So that's my main hero area. But as you can see here, the head is cut off. So you want to go in and fix that. So let's go back in. So I want to go now to background. Then we go to images here. So this one here is set to center. So let's go ahead and say uh, top center. Do we even have that option? Yes, there we go. Let's try this much, much better. Now I can save this. Now we can see here that our button here doesn't look great because this doesn't match our color palette. Again, if you want to use your color palette, we go back in here. We highlight here and click on this pencil icon. Now we can add our button color. So this is now is going to be my button color. And my button text is going to be a dark color, so it really stands out. And then if you want to change your fonts, you can always go in and change your fonts. So I'm going to save that, save this one more time. Now let's scroll down. We want to do a light section because we've just worked on a dark section here. So let's add this plus button here, add from library. So this time I want to go to content. Let's see what we have here. So I'm just going to search for DK. So I'm just going to search for DK content. So I want to go with uh, perhaps this one here. So I'm going to click, use this section, click on import. There we go. So our section now has been imported. It's time now to add our colors. So I'm going to click here on my main section, go to background. And now I'm going to change my color to this one here. So that slight pink is going to be my main color. I'm going to save that. And now that has become my light section. So finally, you can just now start working on your fonts here. So you go in, change your font to your own font. So let's go to uh, Poppins or whatever font you want. Click on that. So you can see now it's been updated. Do the same thing here. Again, I'm going to search for Poppins. Great. So I'm going to save that. So even these social media icons, you can actually go in and change these. So we're going to go to Design, Icon. So you can see here, this is the color we had. So let's change this to a different color. Maybe we could go with that gray or even go with this color right here so it doesn't, it doesn't really stand out. Now the hover can be the lighter version. So let's click here on hover like that. Oh, in fact, let's go with this and then save. OK, now let's save our page and exit the vision. So what we've done here is we've added a brand new color palette and then applied it to Divi Crafter. Now, this is now a custom design with brand new colors. I mean, our animations are still in place. You can see here when I hover, everything is in place. So this is how you want to use Divi Crafter. Now, the Divi Crafter UI kit is going for $36. I'm going to be increasing the price to $72 when I add even more sections. But if you purchase this now, you won't, be able, you won't need to pay extra when I add new sections. So make sure you get the discount. Links to all of that in the video description below. Let me know what you guys think. In fact, I'll also be creating a new page where you can send me screenshots of sections you want me to add to 
Divi Crafter so that we can have a massive library of designs. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.